Welcome to Pinball Mayhem. My name is Jerry, and today we're going to talk about a special tool. It's a logic probe used for diagnosing logic on circuit boards. We're gonna, I'm going to show you what it's all about, and um, how much it costs, and why you might want to think of buying one. Here we are at the business end of the Red Mallard game. Now, a logic probe is also useful for pinball, but since I'm using it right now on this machine, I figured I'd demonstrate it. Okay. Focus in on this guy, huh? Here is our logic probe. The one I have is a BK DP-21, and it doesn't really matter what model you get. I just checked the prices for these this morning. They're still being made um, on Mauser and Newark. They're approximately 40 bucks. And I went on eBay, and this one is like 30 bucks. and there's others. There's used ones. There's all kinds of stuff. There's not much to go wrong inside these things. Um, so... If you if you got an issue with spending forty bucks on a tool, you probably only use a few times. Um, you know, certainly this is this tool sits in my drawer most of the time, as I don't do a whole lot of circuit board work. But it is really handy when I need to figure out what's going on in a circuit that a multimeter cannot tell me, an oscilloscope can tell me, but I am not buying an oscilloscope for the amount of little time that I use it. What does the Logic Probe do? In the case where I'm using it on this particular circuit board, uh, this is, for this demonstration, it's TTL logic, which um, I looked up the definition. Uh, logic, uh, high signal is, in an ideal world, plus 5 volts. Low signal is 0 volts. And we'll change the focus here a bit. Actually, we'll go over the tool a little bit. Okay, so we've got the probe. High signal would be a plus 5 volts, and in logic states, that is basically a 1. Low, ideally, is 0 volts. That In logic states, that would be a 0, because logic is 1 or 0. And then we've got a switch for TTL or CMOS logic, and that just controls the blinking light here. And then we've got memory or pulse. Memory just locks it into its state and then pulse just lets the light pulse along so you can quick a, so you can uh, capture a short pulse if you're looking for a particularly short pulse all right so what do we do and how is this going to help us let's change our focus onto the circuit board here all right for this particular circuit board i've had, we got the power supply circuit over here very simple circuit we got uh, diode full wave bridge here and we've got our 5 volt voltage regulator. And this particular board, we've got our minuses here and our pluses here. Verify that. Yep. All right. So, in using the logic probe, remember low is green. We've basically got 0 volts here. So that's our low side. And on the positive side here, we've got a red for high. Now, like on a pinball machine, let's say I've got a board that won't boot, or it's just not responding. And it's like, do we got like a, a lot of times there's like a reset pulse that is with a board. We can check that. You can also check since this is all 5 volt circuit, we can verify the, the chip is getting a positive signal or not. We'll just look on this first chip here. Low signal on the first pin. Okay. This is the clock signal for this particular chip. We're showing activity with high and low, and we got a pulsing here. You can't see this with a multimeter. This is why this tool is so nice. I can verify I have a clock signal going to this chip. So, to follow up, do you really need this tool? If you're going to work on circuit boards, it's a great first step if you don't have an oscilloscope or don't want to buy an oscilloscope. 
So I would definitely recommend it if you're going to look in a circuit board. Or it's great to even tell, you know, if you're working on um, a pinball circuit board and you want to verify there's even life in it. Let's say you're not getting any outputs of it. It's like, well, is the, you know, the voltage even going where it's supposed to go? Or it'll, you know, this is super nice to use. And yeah, and some of it, you could see we could have used a meter. But having the indicator lights is just so much more, so much quicker and easier, at least for me. So if you're going to do some circuit board work, give it a shot. Like I said, on eBay, you can pick these up for a few dollars. So it's well worth playing around with. And uh, if you got any questions, let me know. But uh, since I was using this tool for the Red Mallard, I thought it would be a good video. Have a great day.